before we inject those numbers in the fields, there's a lot of craziness that goes on because we actually have two sources of truth. This is why front, and this is the crux really of why front end development is harder than back end. In back end development, and sometimes in front end development, you're supposed to have a single source of truth, and that's the database. The database will have the data for everything, whether it's east and west replicated, who knows? The back end will load that data, and then the front end shows it, whether the user has permission or not, and the back end has permissions to show, blah, blah, blah. It's all filtered through that. But at the end of the day, it came from the database, which came from the back end. And so the UI usually gets a free, sometimes, effort of saying, look, I just show what they give me. Sometimes it filters wrong, sometimes you display it wrong, and that's just the nature of the beast. But when you deal with users, you have writable data. The user will input data and change things. And then what you have is a copy of what they wrote, which is different in the back end. And suddenly things get really complicated. Do informed development is the same way in that what I type may be valid or not. And what I type here will affect this field, right? So for example, if you choose a country, you're going to change to provinces for Canada versus states for the United States of America in a dynamic form field. And so what you do here affects others. And sometimes it's invalid, which means the others either have to hang out or wait until this one changes. So we can't just inject the Fahrenheit 32 as I type 32 because it could be invalid. So we can't inject cow and then put nothing in the field because they're typing right in the field. So you kind of have two sources of truth. So that's why this is our idea of what our data is. And this is what the user actually typed. And the way we know what to inject is if it's valid or not. So let's go ahead and convert the numbers first over into Fahrenheit as you type and show it over here in the debug log. Then we'll actually put it in the fields.